Even though I have lots of different pencils and different little tools for my graphite drawings, there are definitely a couple of things that I would consider must-haves for any graphite artist, and today I want to be showing those things to you and talking about how and when I use them so that you can make the most of your sort of supplies to get the best graphite drawings that you can. My first must-have tool that I really recommend you guys try out is a mechanical pencil. And so the one that I use is the Faber-Castell one. It is a 0.5mm barrel and this is just so good. I love mechanical pencils for the details and for the fact that they don't break. You know, you don't have to sharpen them and deal with the leads breaking constantly. You can buy the leads, they refill so you can buy little boxes of them and they just last you such a long time. There's less wastage compared to normal pencils where they break if you sharpen them and I just love the details that you can get with these you can get really fine details as you can see here you can get different variations of like grades you can apply a bit less pressure and get some lighter tones so you can get a range of values with just one mechanical pencil and I love it for the sketch outlines as well so I use it for sketch outlines and to add the first sort of layers of detail my second tool that I love to use is just a darker graphite pencil. So I think it's so important with graphite drawings that you do have a few different values few different grades of graphite so I do like to use a 4B pencil within my sort of drawing so I do like to start off with my mechanical pencil and then I go in and I add some darker shadows to get some contrast in the piece I find that a lot of beginners just go in with a HB pencil all of the way through their drawing and they don't use different grades whereas, whereas it's really important to get in those darker shadows my third tool is a blending stump. I love blending stumps to blend the graphite pencil. They are really good, they're really cheap, really affordable, and I just find that they give you really nice smooth values and they just help get rid of all of the graininess in your drawing. If you wanna see some other ways that I like to blend graphite pencil, then I will link a card up above where I go through four different ways that you guys can blend your graphite. But as you can see, it's just really nice to soften everything out and add some value to the lighter areas. So for example, you can blend some of that value from those darker shadows into the highlighted areas in the middle. It's really, really good and it makes it so much faster to blend out your graphite. Here you can see me go in and do this messy burn with these three tools that I've mentioned so far. Firstly, I'm going in with that mechanical pencil, like I said, just to get in the first initial layers, kind of get in the structure of everything where all of the shadows are and leave some kind of white areas of the paper for the highlights. Then to get the drawing even darker, I'm going in with that darker graphite pencil that I mentioned earlier, the 4B1, and I've just used that to add in some more shadow. And finally, I'm going in with the blending stump and I'm just using that to soften everything out. But now it's not quite dark enough, so the fourth tool that I love to use is the black polychromos Faber-Castell coloured pencil. And you might think a coloured pencil with graphite, that sounds so strange, and I thought so, but I was really surprised at how well it works with graphite. It's absolutely amazing. It gets those really dark values without having as much shine as a 8B graphite pencil would, for example. So I just absolutely love it if you need to get areas that are really pretty much black in you can just see how much darker everything goes and with realism or anything which you really want to pop out the page it's important that you get a good contrast and that means that as well as having bright highlights you need to have those dark dark values so you can just see how dark it is compared to that 4b pencil and so what I wanted to use that for is just for the darkest parts of this bun and the hairstyle and you'll really see how just how much better it looks once I've gone through with the black polychromos pencil. It's a cheapish pencil, it's only like one pound something, like one pound 80, and I recommend that you just buy one, test out, you might love it, you might not like it, might not be your thing, but I definitely think it's like worth just testing out and having a go. And what I love as well is that you can use the blending stump to soften that out and blend that, that oil-based polychromos pencil as well. The very last tool that I absolutely love to use is the Tombow Mono Eraser. It is one of the supplies that you've probably heard me talk about before because it is so good for a lot of different things. It's a really small eraser, it's a little stick eraser. So because it's so small, it means you can get those really highlighted details that you need to. So any little details in like hair or fur, this is absolutely perfect for. You can see how well it lifts off the graphite pencil. So for your highlights, I really recommend the Tombow Mono Eraser. 
All of the materials that I have mentioned in this video will be listed in the description below for you guys if you want to check it out. Another thing I like about that eraser is that you can also just use it to erase areas, erase any mistakes you make. But as you can see with this hairstyle, I use it to add all of like the really shiny, glossy areas, any little flyaway hairs that I need to. But one thing is that the Tombow Mono eraser doesn't really erase the black polychromos as well as it does the graphite. So it doesn't erase colour pencils as well as the graphite you need to work a bit harder but it can erase it and as you can see it just really helps get that contrast in because with contrast you need the dark values which you get with the black polychromos but then you need the highlights which you can get with the Tombow Mono eraser. So here is a look at the finished drawing for you guys. If you really want to see and learn how I did this drawing in real time then it is available over on my Patreon for you guys the full real time thing with voiceover so you can follow along with me. Anyway guys that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tutorial videos in the future. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.